What is the best laptop for data science, machine learning and data engineering jobs? Here's the answer, your laptop does not matter. And in this video, I will explain you why you should not run behind high storage, high GPU and high RAM configuration laptop and how you can still use your decent laptop to do machine learning and data science work. Whenever you want any information, the first thing you do, either you go on Google or you go on YouTube. In this case, you will search the best laptop for data science and you will find many videos on this topic. The common thing between these videos is that they will give you different recommendations of laptops based on the different configuration required for data science machine learning work. I bought my first laptop when I was in my second year of the college which was HP laptop and I recently bought this MacBook around 2-3 to three months back which is the MacBook M1. My HP laptop was not high end laptop to do the machine learning and data science work but I was still able to do and learn all these things. My MacBook is also not designed for running high end machine learning or data engineering jobs but still I am able to do all this work. We always think that we need high end laptop to do machine learning work but no no matter how much high-end laptop you buy, it will never be enough because you will always run out of resources. You don't really need high-end laptop, you just need decent laptop because most of the time you are going to use someone else's computer to do all the machine learning and data engineering work. Running machine learning or data engineering jobs requires huge data and processing power. And no matter how good your laptop is, you will always run out of the resources. So in this video, I want to mainly focus on bursting your myth around buying the right laptop and want to give you some recommendation that you can still use your decent laptop and learn machine learning and data engineering on scale. The main reason we run behind this laptop is that we like giving excuses. So when someone asks you that why you did not start learning machine learning or data engineering, you can give them excuses that I did not have the right laptop to do all these things work. This is the general reason people have in their mind is that they don't have the right laptop. I was in the same situation when I had my HP laptop. I wanted to buy a new laptop so that I can run large scale machine learning model but later I realized that these were just excuses that I was making. So one problem we talked about is that the limitation of the resources. The second problem is that the time it takes to configure all the machine learning environment in our PC. It takes a lot of time to configure machine learning environment in your PC. You need to do a lot of things. You need to configure your machine learning model to run on the GPU and it takes a lot of time to just configure all these things. So now let's talk about how to do machine learning or data engineering on the scale. Number one we have is using Google Colab. So when I was in my final year of degree college, and I was working on my final year project of machine learning model. We were building a text summarization model. So we used to take some news and try to summarize that news. So we were running some machine learning models on top of the text data. So we had some PCs in our college. We tried to run some machine learning model on top of it, but it did not work. I also tried running it on my HP laptop, but again, it took a lot of time to run single epoch on machine learning model. We tried a lot of things and we finally found out the Google Colab. It is basically an online Jupyter notebook provided by Google. You don't need to manage or configure anything. Just log into your Google account and you can quickly get started. Google Colab provides you the GPU powered notebooks for free. While using Google Colab notebook, you just need to change the runtime, select the GPU and you can start working on your project. So instead of spending hours and hours configuring CUDA, installing NVIDIA drivers and all the other frameworks, you can directly start working on the code and everything will be handled by Google. You can store your files on Google Drive and also access it using code. You can use Google Colab for free and that is enough for learning purpose. But if you want to run high end machine learning models, then you can pay for some subscription and scale it. If you want to do the same thing on a laptop, then you will have to buy extra GPU, RAM or storage based on a requirement and that becomes very expensive. Second thing you can use is Kegel notebooks. Now when we talk about Kegel, we generally think about computation on the Kegel or some practice of data science work, but you can still upload your own data set on Kegel and use their resources to do your work. Kegel notebooks are a really good way to perform your machine learning work. It is pretty easy. You can upload your own data set, access it using Jupyter notebook and start working again without worrying about installation and configuration. Third thing on the list is that using Gradient or Data Crunch. This is the same as Google Colab. You can create your account and start working on ML problems. You can learn more about these things by visiting the website because everything is available there. So I don't want to waste your time on these things and let's focus on important points. So when I got my first internship in data science work, they told me that I will be working on large scale machine learning model and I will be dealing with the data with around 10 TB or 20 TB or even more than that. At that time I had a question is that my PC is not even capable of handling 1 TB of data because I had the storage of 1 TB and most of the space was consumed by all the files I had and the operating system. So I was thinking how I'm going to perform all these things on my laptop. So when you are in college you can use Google Colab, Gradient, Kegel and all the other services. 
But when you go in the industry, people generally focus on cloud platforms and cloud services. Cloud services such as Amazon SageMaker, if you are working on AWS, then you will use that because you will be dealing with a huge data set. Plus, you will have to clean your data first, do feature engineering, all the data science work before putting your data into data models. You can use SageMaker in free trial to get your basic machine learning work started. Just like Amazon SageMaker, you can use similar services on GCP or Azure. These services are developed to make your life easier. You can be anywhere in the world and you can still access your machine learning model and start working on it. You will only need decent internet connection and decent laptop. You can even access these things using your phone. See, if you are someone who is working in the content creation, or working on the game development then you have to invest in all the hardware to build the right PC to do the development work but if you just want to do the data science machine learning or data engineering work for the learning purposes then you can use these free services to do these things on the scale so don't wait for finding the perfect laptop for your work you can still get started with a decent laptop so all of these things were completely based on my experiences and I never faced any issue because of the laptop or the limitation of the computation power because all of these things are available on the internet for free so you can still access it and start working and begin your ML or data engineering journey. So buy any laptop with the basic configuration such as 8 GB of RAM, 1 TB of hard disk and you can look for the graphics such as 2 to 4 GB of graphic card, latest OS such as Windows, Linux or Mac if you are going for the Mac. As long as you have the decent laptop where you can open your browser and work and access some website, you are still good to go. So don't fool yourself and don't make excuses that once I have the right laptop then I will start my machine learning or data engineering journey. You can literally start right now with your decent laptop and get started. And before you start journey, I want to tell you one more thing is that when you click on that like button, it goes to YouTube database. After going to the YouTube database, YouTube will process that data and put that data onto machine learning model. Machine learning models will try to recommend this video to more and more people who are likely to watch it and might find this video helpful. So make sure you click on that like button and if you are new here then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon if you want to get the notified. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.